हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू टू ई बी जी पाठशाला माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर अमित कटोच एंड एम वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ होटल एंड टूरिज्म मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी डेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड बी टेकिंग द मॉड्यूल टाइटल्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ कार्गो रेवेन्यू एंड फोरकास्ट मैनेजमेंट अंडर द पेपर कार्गो ऑपरेशंस एंड मैनेजमेंट आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू नो अबाउट रेवेन्यू एंड इट्स मैनेजमेंट इन एयर कार्गो एयर कार्गो सप्लाई चेन एयर कार्गो रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट फीचर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम फॉर एयर कार्गो कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एयर कार्गो रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट एंड बेनिफिट्स फ्रॉम इंप्लीमेंटिंग रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट दैट इज आर एम फर्स्टली डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू रेवेन्यू एंड इट्स मैनेजमेंट एंड इफेक्टिव कार्गो रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर एकूरेटली फोरकास्ट एंड ऑर्गेनाइज एवेलेबल सप्लाई एंड डिमांड which leads to improved revenue and profits now let's first understand revenue it is the income that an organization or a business venture generate from its normal business activities that can be from sales of goods or services provided to the customer profit making and upgrading the services quality to increase market value is key for all organizations this can be done through revenue maximization which again is possible through revenue management the primary goal in revenue management is doing right work at the right time and in a way with right price for target customer for this an extensive market study is required to evaluate different customer segments and their needs and wants and the pattern of their spending out of the different modes of cargo transportation to other countries about one third of it is transported by air across globe seeing the latest industry trend demand for rapid delivery of goods has increased and thus air transportation of goods and freight are in demand globalization of business rise of e-commerce and quality and just in time manufacturing have contributed to the increase in demand for transporting the goods safely in bulk through air cargo thus generating a huge business for air cargo industry with the uprise of low cost carriers after deregulation passenger airlines have established revenue management techniques revenue management disciplines were initiated by airline industry in early 1980s for passenger airlines only to increase earnings from sales of passenger services it proved successful and revenue from passenger flights started increasing seeing the success rate it was further applied to other areas of services and hospitality like cargo hotel and cargo rental services revenue management in air cargo industry is significantly important because of its complex nature as compared to passenger segment products sold for air cargo comes with different proportions in terms of their size and weight they need special care in terms of temperature some are highly cool products and delicacy co loadability restrictions that is dangerous material cannot be loaded along with sensitive goods or live animals load should be equally spreaded and properly arranged by the professionals in the cargo aircraft and all safety should be taken care while loading goods on the aircraft in the guidance of professional air cargo staff challenges in air cargo industry 
Firstly, how to know the actual capacity of cargo plane, keeping in mind the cargo customer behavior. Secondly, how to sell the cargo capacity when the demand of customers are changing in terms of flights. Thirdly, determining air cargo routes bearing in mind connect times, cargo characteristics, prohibitions, location, limitations, etc. Fourthly, how to determine hurdle prices or break-even price keeping in view the changing demand for various types of cargo. At the same time, considering price elasticity. Determining the changing demands of cargo customers and understanding their importance in revenue generation. Continuously updating and maintaining cargo rates and bid prices. Now I will discuss about the air cargo supply chain. Air cargo supply chain consists of diversified range of service provider including airlines, freight forwarders, custom house agents, ground operators etc. working as a team for efficient transport and speed delivery of freight from one place to another in and outside the country. The three main role players in air cargo supply chain are shippers, forwarders, cargo agents and freight carriers that is cargo airlines. Finally, the goods are delivered to the consignee at the destination which may be the buyer or an agent. Shippers are the seller or sender, may be an organization or an individual who sends the goods through air cargo. Carrier are the airline who carries the goods for transportation. Forwarders are agent coordinating between sender and the airline. Senders take help of agents who on the behalf of sender do all the proceeding with cargo airlines. This includes price negotiations, packaging and transportation of goods, paperwork and custom clearance. Thus, acting as a middleman and intermediate. Vertical integration and the role of integrators. Booking a seat in a passenger airline can be done directly through airline counter or through a travel agent or through a consolidator. Booking through an agent allow price comparison of different airlines. However, booking directly with airline is comparatively economical as it is free from intermediates and their profit margin. Whereas in air cargo industry, it is the forwarder who books space in cargo. Do all communication with carrier airlines on behalf of sender. Sender themselves really directly involve in communication due to which there is no transparency in air cargo rates. Shipper have to pay certain charges to forwarder known to him only same manner Every forwarder or agent have their own charges for airlines transporting the goods without knowing the competitor's rate. Thus, no market equilibrium is established in journal. Integrators are also important, which are cargo agents having their own cargo flight network to transport air cargo goods. The popular examples are DHL Express, FedEx and UPS. Thus, increasing efficiency because they have their own supply chain, less delays of shipment, handovers process or related paperwork. The integrator's business is growing with large market share of shipment. Understanding the supply chain network and relationship between the supply chain members, it is clear that there is a partnership between cargo airlines and the agents. Freight forwarder. The airlines sell space in bulk to the forwarder as required and demanded by forwarder through a contract. After that, forwarder sell these space they bought from airlines to the shipper. Do the packaging of goods, generally as a single large unit, they combine goods 
transported during packaging to be sent to cargo airline for transportation. For international cargo, forwarders also help in customer clearance and export import documentation. Airlines sell cargo space in two ways through allocation or free sale also known as spot sale or ad hoc sale. Allocation means that flights sell cargo capacity to agent much before the departure of that cargo flight in a particular season. A season is a particular time period as per the airline with duration varying from a few weeks to one year. Carriers also sell space to customers on the spot or space available based upon prior commitments. Ad hoc demand is a demand generated from forwarder those who are in regular contract with the carrier airline. According to a report in October 2016 titled Boeing Forecast World Air Cargo Traffic to Grow Long Term as Economy Strengthens, the fleet size of cargo airlines will expand by 70% by 2035, adding a total of 2,370 freighters to the market. The forecast sees demand for 550 large production freighters, 380 production medium wide body freighters, 400 wide body conversion freighters and 1,040 medium conversion freighters. Categories of transportable goods in air cargo products which are often transported by air freight are goods with a short economic life cycle that is radioactive material, newspapers etc. High value goods such as gold, banknotes, high tech goods, live animals, pharmaceuticals, perishable goods like fruits, vegetables, fresh fish, flowers, Spare parts to prevent production line stops in factories. Expensive goods are transported through air cargo because of fast delivery and least possibility of risk as compared to transportation done by ship through sea route which has more chances of theft as the long duration of shipment on the sea. Also for high valued goods cost of transportation is comparatively less. Perishables like vegetables, flowers or fresh fish needs fast and timely, also safe delivery and same goes for product having short economic lifespan, for instance newspapers. They lose their value after one or few days. Pharmaceuticals, those need to be cooled during transportation for them. Dry ice is used which is placed in an insulated container. Spare parts are very expensive when factories have line stops. Staff cannot work without the spare parts need to run machines which is to be delivered as soon as possible. Besides these types, there are many more goods which are shipped using air freight. Some of these need extra care, others may not. They can be transported as general shipments, collectively booked and transported in bulk, packed together as a single shipment. This gives economical rate also to forwarder as rate are decided on measurement of shipment basis. Now I will discuss about air cargo revenue management. Air cargo revenue management that is ACRM is about managing revenue of cargo airline by managing cargo rates and the inventory in the airline and warehouse which includes belly space, payload and containers. It keeps into account available plane capacity for sale and controlling inventory. For available capacity determination for sale is based on both the physical capacity and understanding the show of behavior of already booked cargo. 
एक्चुअल कैपेसिटी फॉर बोथ पैसेंजर्स एंड कार्गो इज जनरली ओवर बुक्ड बाय द एयरलाइंस बिकॉज पार्ट ऑफ द बुक डिमांड ऑफन डज नॉट शो अप एट द फ्लाइट डिपार्चर इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल कैन बी डन बाय एलोकेटिंग स्पेस टू डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स एंड और कस्टमर्स एयरलाइंस मेक रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम द लोडेड कार्गो इन द एयरलाइन एयर कार्गो इज अ रिलेशनशिप बेस्ड बिजनेस वेयर द कैपेसिटी इज नॉट नोन एंड नॉट फिक्सड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज विच अप्लाइज रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट आर एम टेक्निक्स दीज आर दे हैव अ वराइटी ऑफ कस्टमर डिफरेंस इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विलिंगनेस टू पे प्रेफरेंस फॉर डिफरेंट सर्विसेज एंड परचेज बिहेवियर वेरिएबल डिमांड इन चेंज इन डिमांड इट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टू अट्रैक्ट हाई रेवेन्यू कस्टमर्स ड्यूरिंग पीक डिमांड एंड कैपेसिटी मैक्सिमाइजेशन विद लोअर रेवेन्यू शिपमेंट्स नॉन फ्लेक्सीबल नेचर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन अ फिक्स अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस हैज टू बी एलोकेटेड ऑप्टिमली ओवर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कस्टमर्स होमोजीनियस गुड्स कस्टमर गो विद इकनॉमिकल स्पेस अवेलेबल इन वन फ्लाइट एंड नॉट गिव अटेंशन टू द क्वालिटी एंड वैल्यू एडिड सर्विसेज ऑफर्ड बाय अदर एयरलाइंस एज वेल दस रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट प्लेज रोल इन प्राइसिंग सिमिलर टू द गुड्स इंडस्ट्री इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बेस्ड ऑन डेट एंड इंफॉर्मेशन इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इंप्लीमेंटिंग रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट इज दैट डिमांड कैन बी सीन एंड चेक एक्यूरेटली थ्रू एनालाइजिंग पास डाटा एंड एन इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम विच इन्फॉर्म्स अबाउट प्रेजेंट एंड पास्ट इवेंट्स सच एज कैपेसिटी रिमेनिंग आफ्टर द स्पेस इज बीन बुक्ड ऑनलाइन बुकिंग सिस्टम हेल्प्स इन प्रॉपर ऑपरेशन ऑफ रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट स्पेसिफिक फीचर ऑफ कार्गो इंडस्ट्री मेक्स द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ रेवेन्यू मैनेजमेंट मोर डिफिकल्ट द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन कार्गो इंडस्ट्री एंड द अदर इंडस्ट्री इज नॉन यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ कस्टमर टाइप ऑफ शिपमेंट डन एंड रेवेन्यू जनरेटेड देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन एवरी बुकिंग वेर एज फॉर वन पर्टिकुलर सीट ऑफ अ पैसेंजर एयरलाइन द टिकट प्राइस इज स्पेसिफाइड Similarly, for a hotel room booking is always with a certain price for a certain number of nights occupied. All this is not possible in air cargo with certainty. Thus, revenue management for cargo industry faces many complexities, which are multi dimensions of capacity measurement. That is. capacity in air cargo depends on weight and volume and density or piece measurement of unit load device uld positions available in wide body aircraft amount of capacity availability is not fixed for example on passenger aircraft the capacity of air cargo carried depends on the amount of capacity available for cargo after loading all passenger baggage also different aircraft have different capacities depending upon the size of aircraft no specific routing for a cargo plane to fly large number of routing options are available as it can fly on any route as long as it reaches the destination on time as per the agreement allotments or fixed space a large amount of cargo capacity is allotted to permanent customer more flight legs during flying each flight leg comes with different amounts of capacity available for cargo goods with restrictions some shipments are subject to coload ability restrictions for instance dangerous goods or are extremely heavy thus making evenly distribution of weight difficult in cargo plane loading loss because of the unusual shape and size of certain items they become difficult to load on aircraft as they cannot be carried along with single uld container imbalance of export 
import cargo traffic is a one way traffic that is trade flow is not symmetrical for example more trade from the asia pacific to africa than vice versa short term bookings in case of free sale of capacity bookings comes at the 11th hour of departure that is 1 2 days before departure of flight size uncertainty for already booked shipments there is often a difference between the amount of capacity booked and what is decided at the time of tender between cargo airline and forwarder b2b market the air cargo industry is a business to business market which means it is highly dependable on customers less in number lack of customer data with variety of bookings channels by phone or email and practice of online booking is less proper updated customer data is not always available such complications need to be addressed while developing a revenue management model for the air cargo industry features of revenue management system for air cargo following features should be ideally be there in an air cargo revenue management system automatically check forecast and update cargo capacity levels of overbooking demand space allocations bid prices and forecasting demand show up rate forecast generating management reports on the basis of week months and years separately on different issues related with revenue generation load factors service failure etc customer valuation and performance monitoring of cargo airlines shipment and cargo agents effective management of cargo flights with revenue maximization now i will discuss about the components of revenue management for air cargo's capacity management it is forecasting the physical capacity available in airline for cargo checking for the real show up behavior for booked cargo space from these to setting the overbooking levels thus seen overbooking and physical capacity available gives the total capacity available for sale in the cargo plane also called as authorized space allotment management it determine the split between allotment that is the space given to regular cargo agent and free sale space for non regular agents or on the spot comers on flights total space granted and total space requested is also known by allotment management network management it is based on forecast on demand for free sale on the basis of free capacity forecast with accurately keeping in mind profitable and feasible routing options and costs the least adequate charges or hurdle prices to be applied to sell cargo space based on price strategy demand available capacity and routing type revenue management planning is done on two bases firstly period of flight as decided by the airline allotment starts at the beginning of every season with an ad hoc allotment also afterwards secondly booking period at this tenure cargo flights are available for booking spaces generally starts 30 days before departure whereas some open only 14 days before departure large amount of cargo bookings occur within 2 to 5 days before departure network and capacity management is done during booking period thus a good revenue management system perform following functions forecasting cargo capacity which forecast the loading capacity in a cargo plane show up rate forecasting booking trends are forecasted by looking at turned up rate of flight booked at time of departure cancellation rate empty spaces less allotment etc overbooking gives information about extra capacity required for booking counter balance the impact of cancellation 
no show and over and under tendering between cargo airlines and cargo agents allotment management it gives the blend between permanent bookings of space by regular agents and free sale of space at the spot demand forecasting on the basis of past and present booking data hurdle pricing minimum price accepted for a shipment cost model estimating cost required for different routes taking in consideration different factors like goods handling fuel requirement trucking of goods interline with other agents etc router deciding the feasible routes for shipment through air cargo valuable customer identification identifying valuable customers on the basis of volume of business generated revenue given and value of cargo transported frequency of booking forecast provide critical input to airport management and planning it is important to remember that air cargo is a high volume low margin business that is driven by time service and cost control the physical planning extends beyond the parameters of the on airport buildings to a wide variety of business and regulatory interest both on and off the airport cargo forecasts are important to airports for many reasons including master planning and budgeting in order to produce maximum outcome and to explore the full potential by an airport accurate forecasting is important to determine future trends in terms of traffic generated customer demand their needs and want and cargo transportation and data collection now i will discuss about air cargo rates air cargo rates are based on segmentation on different basis rates for shipment through air cargo is based on negotiations both during allotment and bid pricing there are three types of rate categories which are published rates contract rates and spot rates the published rates that are revealed once in a year are the generalized rate for all the new customers and non regular customers of cargo airlines obviously higher rates than the rates for regular customers rates based on agreements called block space agreement that is bsa allotment contract between agent and cargo airline for a particular space in the cargo airline these rates depend on customer type destination and commodity size of contract that is volume and amount of shipments contract rates are usually fixed rates for half a year but subject to revise if output is not coming spot rates are the rate that are given for free sale on the spot for selling cargo capacity these rates are a result of negotiations between non regular agents and carriers remaining capacity available volume of already booked shipments when the considered flight departs from a large hub which is feeded from the airlines trucking network rates might also depend on where the booking comes from weight and volume based charges concept air cargo prices are always stated on the basis of weight in per kg but this is not the only criteria rate it depends on volume as well as not just the weight for example if 1 kg leads to be transported it requires less space than transporting 1 kg of pillo because of this cargo airlines always charge an amount based on weight the standard volume or weight ratio of a shipment is 1 is to 6 now we can say that why charges are always calculated based on weight which cargo capacity is volume controlled this is because weight concept is in practice from the beginning moreover weight is easy to calculate 
then volume and third in the new era cargo airlines are also so well designed new capacity engines that can carry much more weight than before but at the same time this cannot be the reason that we cannot change the old concepts and find new ways of pricing today new equipment like volume scanners are available and freight come in fixed packages having a specific volume segmentation in air cargo industry an important aspect in air cargo revenue management is segmentation or fencing that is dividing the market into different segments on the basis of paying capacity and willingness of customer and the nature of goods transported segmentation is done on the basis of booking time getting more discount for early booking the days of shipment weekdays are cheaper than weekends if the speed delivery is required that is as soon as possible or fast delivery is not required nature of the product for shipment whether it is perishable special care or main deck materials flexibility valuable customers channels of booking online booking discount each cargo plane has different fare classes based on monetary value of shipment these fare classes can be used in revenue management as in passenger airline cargo revenue management models there are two simulation model for revenue management based on flight legs of the airline a single flight leg have a random revenue for all bookings instead of using different fare classes the second model simulates seven flights in one week to the same destination and thus increasing the possibility of shipments in different airlines as per the flexibility model 1 it is a fixed model which uses two minimum price based on revenue generation per volume and revenue generation per weight for transporting the shipment a very easy to implement model and without any complex amendments in present booking process model 2 in this model a series of seven flights are evaluated over one week one flight per day during the week the most economical type of shipment is the most flexible to be placed in the already booked flight or in the subsequent flight thus the flexible shipment help in more revenue earnings by getting an opportunity not to reject the shipment with high revenue even at the 9th hour when a high revenue shipment booking arrives one can replace a flexible shipment to the next flight to regain capacity data requirements for cargo revenue management following types of data required for successful revenue management of air cargo a data which can give information on aircraft unit load device uld cost of transportation air routes for transportation etc reference data gives information about the types of aircraft that the airlines has total cargo space available payload capacity weight and structure in terms of unit load device b schedule or time table of flights it is of three types seasonal schedule available at the starting of every season can get from flight scheduling system it lists all the information about the flights flight number origin destination operational days and equipment required operated in that particular tenure seasonal schedule with charges presented on a weekly or monthly basis and it overrules the schedule that is existing before the release of it operational schedule of flight which is updated in the last 24 to 48 hours post departure flight data it is authentic data for a flight 
collected after its departure which gives information about the data for total capacity loaded and utilized, type of shipment transported, weight of the shipment and passenger type etc. This is utilized for calculating cargo capacities also forecasting the availability. This data can be taken from cargo departure control system or cargo load planning system. D. Customer or passenger forecast. If the cargo is going as a belly space of passenger airline and not in cargo airline, then information is required for knowing the capacity that passenger occupied on the board. The data predicts passenger number in different classes of the airline in the aircraft for future reference. Such predictions are used in calculating expected weight of cargo and passenger on board, the volume of passenger baggage and cargo containers at the time of departure in the belly area and main deck of cargo. With the help of this data capacity, total capacity of cargo airlines can be calculated. Passenger forecasts are available on passenger revenue management system. E. Airway bill data. It has three categories of bill generation. One which is booked, other one is at the time of tender and the third one is actually flown shipments. Booked and tender data are used for calculating the show up behavior of customers and agents. It also predicts customer demand. Whereas flown airway bill data gives information about actual load flown in an aircraft and is used for reporting purposes. It includes shipment data such as shipment is originated from which country, flown to which country, what kind of goods are being transported, how many flights is compiled in one load unit, weight of shipment, name of the shipper, name of the consignee, departure through flight number, date and time etc. Implementation approach. Revenue management should be implemented in three phases. Number one, managing cargo capacity. Number two, allotment. And number three, bid price management. Benefits of revenue management. There are a number of benefits that a revenue management systems can bring for air cargo industry. Number one, it helps in creating price judgment for a different or similar category of products as well as the customer willingness to pay. Number two, increasing customer satisfaction and loyalty. Number three, increase demand and selling capacity by creating flexible fare for freight transportation. Number four, controlling all the booking decisions whether made much in advance by allotments or even closure to departure two three days giving financial benefits to the shipper number five shipments are often sent collectively as a single packaging freight airlines try to consolidate shipments and revenue earned according to the weight of shipment whether large and light shipments pay according to their chargeable weight revenue management systems helps in managing capacity pricing Number six, another advantage of using RM systems is that it is fully digitalized systems. Instead of booking cargo through emails, through phones or by physically present at the booking site, normal cargo can easily be booked online. This proves to be time saving and convenient. This practice is very less at present. Number seven, the implementation of e freight has now increased, improved IT systems becoming more centralized, makes the process of digital booking easier. Therefore, a centralized IT system has benefits for both e-freight and revenue management. Cost reduction through e-freight implementation. All these RM applications are very helpful in revenue maximization. Now I would summarize the entire module. 
revenue management practices has seen as best practices for profit maximization and economic viability of airlines industry both for passenger flights and cargo planes handling huge competition and unstable economic condition is making hard for cargo industry to earn profit this is where revenue management techniques can play an important role to overcome the financial problem and to overall increase the prosperity of the cargo industry in this era of technology when everything is digitalized it is important to predict future for competitive edge today all the major sectors of service industry are using revenue management system revenue management for air cargo is in initial stages and is a growing field learning new concept and implementation model a proper awareness and training are required for revenue management practices and associated benefits in air cargo industry there is actually a lot of profit margins in cargo business if the revenues are managed properly but only few airlines across the globe are presently using revenue management as a common practice thank you and have a great future ahead